This is a collective shift that we're making right now. I can't just raise my vibrational frequency and leave everybody behind, and you can't either. The new earth that Dolores Cannon talks about, the new earth, the Christ consciousness, divine nature, divine consciousness returning here to earth, that already exists. The only reason you and me and so many others are not experiencing this is because we are not in energetic and vibrational alignment with these energies, the energy of the new earth, the energy of heaven. It exists. So this process of being blasted with this high vibrational energy is forcing us to purge all these things that are coming up for us energetically to help the divine essence of creation return to this planet so that we can all realize that we're all in the same boat, that we're all part of God consciousness. No, dude, you're not crazy. The energies are insane right now. You're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Everybody's going through a lot. And this is a symptom of the earth raising its energetic vibrational frequency. And what this is feeling like is a lot of density coming up for us. A lot of even dark emotions, past traumas that are resurfacing once again for us to look at. This energy, this heightened vibrational frequency that is causing us to experience this, this density is actually a good thing. This is part of the spiritual ascension process. This is part of awakening. You have to understand if you're here at this time in 2024 and you're resonating with this type of content, you're here watching spiritual videos on YouTube. You are not like the rest. You are part of the wave that came here to earth to help earth in the process of waking up. And that process is actually you first having to wake up to be able to positively impact the collective consciousness of humanity and the collective consciousness of all beings here on earth. So this density that you're going through now, you're going through this so you can wake yourself up, so you can wake others up. This density is a good thing that you're experiencing. It's not pleasant and it's not fun, but it is for a purpose because what's happening energetically is we're almost going through a process of psychic and energetic and spiritual detoxification. If any of you have ever experimented with detoxifying your physical body in the past, you will know that it is not a pleasant experience. The idea with traditional detoxification of the physical body for self-healing is that the body starts to display symptoms due to it being toxic with whatever the toxin is, chemicals, plastics, heavy metals, parasites, anything that could be damaging the physical body. And the process of detoxification is we want to release these things. We want to get them out of the body so the body can be rid of these things that are harming it, that are poisoning it. And in that process, when the symptoms are displayed, you take something like a juice, maybe a supplement, maybe an herb that causes the body to purge these toxins. It gets these toxins into circulation so that the liver and the gut and the even the kidneys can excrete them through either the bowels or the urinary tract or even your sweat or your breath or your saliva. And that is not a pleasant experience. It's not you have the symptoms. Okay, now I do the detox and I feel better. No, you have the symptoms. And then in the process of detoxification, you recirculate all these poisons, all these toxins that have been stored away. And your symptoms actually get three times worse, five times worse, sometimes even 10 times worse. This is what is known in the physical detoxification process as a Hexheimer reaction. It is not pleasant. It is painful on many levels, but it is necessary in the process of healing. And these energetic waves, these high vibrational waves is causing us to energetically and psychically detox old patterns, old energies, old traumas that we cannot take with us into this new world that we're going into. The new earth that Dolores Cannon talks about, the new earth, the Christ consciousness, divine nature, divine consciousness returning here to earth. That already exists. The only reason you and me and so many others are not experiencing this is because we are not in energetic and vibrational alignment with these energies, the energy of the new earth, the energy of heaven. It exists, but we are holding too much density. So this process of being blasted with this high vibrational energy is forcing us to purge all these things that are coming up for us energetically. And this is going to manifest psychically and physically as fatigue, brain fog, feeling like extremely depressed and just questioning everything. You're gonna be forced to take rest, to heal your body. You're gonna be forced to make decisions about letting old patterns and things go, letting them relieve your life, things that you, you've known for a while need to leave. This can look like, and for me personally, this is what it's looking up, like, 
giving up addictions to everything, giving up your addictions to, um, we'll say your sexual addictions, your addictions to food, your addictions to certain types of conversation, your addictions to your electronic devices, all these things. The process of spiritually awakening, the process that you are in and the process that I am in, the process that all of humanity is in right now, it's not about adding in something new. It's about stripping the old things away that no longer serve us. It's about getting rid of the density. If we're all hot air balloons in an analogy, we're trying to rise ourselves up. We're trying to raise our energetic frequency. But if we have all these weights, one pound here, two pounds here, 20 pounds here, these will weigh us down and we cannot rise. Our innate nature is divinity, is high vibrational frequency, but we have all these dense things weighing us down. So the process of ascending to this new earth, this concept of the new heaven on earth, it's about stripping away of the old, getting rid of that which no longer serves us, getting rid of separateness, getting rid of poisoning ourselves, poisoning the planet, harming others, being at war with the environment around us. And in this process of energetically detoxing, it's unpleasant, but it must be done. You must go through this energetic detoxification process in order to spiritually ascend. We are like gold being purified. If there's gold with other metals mixed in, when you're trying to get to the gold, you have to burn away everything that is not conducive of it being pure gold. And you have to go through the fire for that. And I know this is so trite and cliche to say, but you are gold being purified because you already are divine. You are already Christ consciousness. You already are one with God, but you're separate from it. You think you're separate from it because you have all these things weighing you down. You have all these dense energies that are causing you to be tapped into the illusion that you are separate from your divine nature. So you have to get rid of that. And these high vibrational frequencies that earth is experiencing right now are extremely uncomfortable. But what they are forcing you to do is make a decision. What do I want to be aligned with? Do I want to be aligned with low vibrational things or do I want to be aligned with high energetic frequencies? And this is the choice that we're all being faced with. And if you're here watching this video now, I already know you want to be aligned with love. You want to be aligned with oneness. You're here. You feel the energy in my voice and it resonates with you on a deep level. This is part of the process, brother. And I'm so happy that you've chosen to use your free will to make this decision and move in the direction of love, in the direction of light, in the direction of all things that are good and wholesome. We can't do this alone. I can't do this alone. This is a collective shift that we're making right now. I can't just raise my vibrational frequency and leave everybody behind. And you can't either. This is something that we have to do together. This is something that we're doing together. So I need your help and we need each other to do this, to help the divine essence of creation return to this planet so that we can all realize that we're all in the same boat, that we're all part of God consciousness. I simply just wanted to make this video as a confirmation for you that, dude, you're not crazy. This is the direction the world is headed and you are on the front lines of this energetic shift. You're literally jumping timelines. And in this time, every single time you make these big shifts, you have to leave a huge part of yourself behind. And that feels like mentally dying to yourself every single day. You must be born again in the words of Yeshua or Jesus, as he is more commonly known as. You must die to your old self, leave and strip away that which no longer serves you. And that's what we're in the process of. And that's painful, but we're here and it's good. So just ride these waves. And I just also wanted to, besides give you encouragement and confirmation that yes, you are aligned and yes, you are on the right path. I did wanna share with you a few tips, things that I'm personally doing that are helping me make this energetic shift more seamless and less unpleasant. The first one is, especially as a man, is retaining your life force. One of the biggest energetic leaks you can have as a man is spilling your seed every single day. There is so much life force. There is so much prana. There's so much consciousness held in your essence. And when you're able to recirculate that energy and not waste it, your essence, your seed, you will feel a palpable difference in the quality of the consciousness, the quality of how you show up in the third dimensional world. Retain your life force, retain your sexual energy and watch how it transforms your mind. Watch how seamless it makes showing up in the world in a positive way, in a conscious way, because that's really what we're all trying to do. We're trying to upgrade our consciousness so we we can bring more positivity, more high vibrational frequencies into this physical third dimensional world. The second thing I would encourage you to do is start incorporating more high vibrational foods into your
your diet. And by high vibrational foods, I mean fruits, vegetables. Yeah, basically plant material that has not been subjected to the fire that has not been cooked. Because one thing that we know is that once you cook food, you destroy the bio photons in it. You destroy the life force. Yes, you can still cook food and enjoy it. I'm not saying you never have to eat cooked food again, but you're going to have a much harder transition into this new earth, into these higher frequencies. If you're only eating cooked foods, you're only eating processed foods, because the more life force, the higher your vibrational frequency, the more you are in alignment. Therefore, the less density you're having to strip away. What I found is that I'm able to more easily navigate these higher vibrational waves of energy that we're receiving when I'm eating more fruits, more vegetables, organic, whole foods that have not been cooked. I st I'm not saying you have to go vegan. I'm not saying you have to go fruitarian. I still eat cooked eggs. I still eat cooked steak, um, but I've been cutting away at that and incorporating more fruits, more raw vegetables. And this has worked for me. Experiment and see if it helps you navigate these energies better as well. The third thing I would recommend you do is, and one thing I'm consciously trying to do more in my life is to realign yourself, is to constantly realign yourself with expansive emotions and positive emotions. When you identify and re-embody expansiveness and positivity, you are becoming closer to the core of who you are. And what that is, is love and it's light and it's divine nature. It's oneness. When you're in these higher vibrational frequencies and you are experiencing emotions of being in a positive state, being in a joyful mood, experiencing peace and relaxation and love, you're emitting literally a higher vibrational frequency. So yes, you're retaining your life force and you're eating high vibrational foods, but you're using that energy to also be energetically, mentally, psychically, spiritually in a positive energetic state. And this will help you heal better in terms of mentally and emotionally, but also you will emit a light in the dark, so to speak, to other people as well. They will see and sense your positivity and it will heal them as well. It, it will encourage them to embody these positive positive emotions and positive states of being as well. So that's the third thing I would encourage you to do. I would also recommend you realign yourself with your guides, whatever that is for you. Some people like to refer to the divine guidance that they receive to their spirit guides, their ancestors. Some people say, I like to connect with God. Some people just say coming back to source energy. It's all one and the same coming back to the divine guidance. And how do you know it's divine? Is it aligned with love? Is it aligned with oneness? If it's out of separateness, fear, hate, judgment, guilt, these are not things that are aligned with God because God is love and love is all encompassing. It's inclusive and it's about coming back to love really. So when you connect with love, when you connect with your guides, your spirit guides, the angels, God, whatever you want to call it, that divine energy, that is another big way that you can raise your energetic frequency as well. I recommend you also do some meditation or breath work or just something that breaks the pattern of overthinking and brings you back into conscious awareness of your body, conscious awareness of your breath. And this grounds you, it brings clarity. And once you have peace and clarity, that's just one step away from experiencing blissful love and blissful joy. So that's another thing I would highly recommend you do. The next one is what you're doing right now. Sit or go on a walk and listen to high vibrational and uplifting and spiritual content. That could be an audiobook. That could be a video just like this. That could be sitting down and reading a book. It doesn't matter. But consume content and consume things and fill your mind with things that are going to realign you with your divine nature. That could be videos like this. It could be anything. Whatever that is for you, YouTube is one of the greatest resources you can utilize in this regard because there's so much content out there. There's so many different perspectives on how to bring yourself back into alignment with who you truly are. And so experiment with different things. Really just come back and find what really resonates with you because everybody's a little bit different. So some people like certain types of languages better. Some people like different vibes, but in general, it's all kind of one and the same. It's all bringing you back to conscious realignment with who you are. Like I said, what we're doing is we're physically and psychically detoxing the body, detoxing the mind, detoxing spiritually. We're letting go of density and along with emotional release and energetic release, your body is just as much energy as your spiritual and ethereal and astral body is. So do not neglect the physical body just because you're spiritually awakening. We're here in the third dimensional reality and we're here for a reason. So do not neglect the physical body in the least. 
I feel like a lot of the spiritual community likes to say you can only have one or the other. You can either be materialistic and have your body and focus on your health, or you can go like meditate in a cave for the rest of your life and just, you know, like ascend spiritually in terms of just your mind. But these things are not mutually exclusive. And in fact, I think they're interdependent. I don't think you can fully raise your consciousness to the highest vibrational frequency possible unless you have an extremely healthy and vibrant physical body. I believe that they are one in the same. I believe they're interconnected and extremely interdependent with each other. If you're not quite sure how to do that and you would like some help doing that, then make sure you check out the links in my description. I have some coaching that I offer as well to not only raise your vibrational frequency, but also to get jacked and cultivate vibrant health in the process. These things are not mutually exclusive. If you want to have the presence of a Buddhist monk, the mind of a philosopher, and also the body of a freaking warrior, then let me help you check some of the links out, connect with me, and we can see what we can work out to help you do all these things. I think to develop yourself physically is also to develop yourself spiritually as well. If that sounds like something you'd be interested, check out the links. And I'm so glad you joined me for this video today. I will speak with you very, very soon and have an amazing rest of your week. May love and peace be with you, brother.